so principles of consolidation uh, consolidation and uh, firstly we need to know that what is group so what is group <clears throat> if one company owns uh, more than 50% of the ordinary share of another company <clears throat> There's usually uh, give the oh, first company control of the second company. parent company parent company has enough voting power to appoint all the director of the second company all the directors of a second company known as subsidiary company as company p company is able to manage <coughs> p means p company means parent company is able to manage <clears throat> as company as if it were merely a department of parent company rather than separate entity legally parent company and subsidiary company remains uh, distinct but in the economic substance they regarded as single unit a group all right now as far as the group accounts are concerned the key principle underlying group account is the need to re reflect the substance of the relationship right uh, that is p company 
and it's a subsidiary company. P company controls subsidiary company and they are combined, they are known as group. P is individual legal entity. S is an individual legal entity. S company is uh, individual and by combining together, they uh, they form a group, a single economic entity. the group right so as far as the now we need to know some of the definitions firstly we need to know what is parent an entity that controls one or more entities What is subsidiary? An entity that is controlled by another entity. known as uh, parent. <laughs> Control of an investee. An investor controls an investee. When the investor is exposed or has rights to variable return. from its involvement with the investee and has the ability to affect those returns through its power over the investing. Now, uh, What are the requirements for consolidated financial statements?
IFRS 10 outlines the circumstances in which group is required to prepare consolidated financial statement. Well, consolidated financial statements should be prepared when the parent company has control over the subsidiary and uh, for examination purposes control is usually established based on uh, mm -hmm. ownership more than 50 percent of voting power control is identified by ifrs 10 as the sole basis for consolidation. And include following three elements. What are those elements? Power over the investing. Uh, exposure or rights to variable returns. To variable returns. from its involvement with the investee. The ability to use its power over the investing to affect the amount of the investors return. Right. IFRS 10 adopts a principle based approach to determining whether or not, or not control is exercised in a given situation which requires the exercise of judgment. And one outcome is that it should lead to more consistent judgment being made with the consequence of greater comparability of financial in reporting information. Further, IFRS 10 states that investor 
should periodically consider whether control over an investee control over an investee has been gained or lost and goes on to consider that a range of circumstances may need to be considered whether uh, when determining whether or not an investor has power over an investee such as so such as exercise of the majority of voting rights in an investee contractual arrangements between the investor and other parties uh between the investor and other parties holding less than fifty percent of the voting shares with all other equity interest held by a numerically large dispersed and unconnected group held by a numeric numerically large dispersed and unconnected group and potential voting rights such as share options or convertible loans may result in an investor gaining or losing control 
at some specific day okay now uh, how can we get the exam exemptions from uh, preparation of group financial statements so exemption from group financial statements the parent parent company itself is a wholly owned subsidiary or a partially own subsidiary and its owners including those not otherwise entitled to vote have been informed about and do not object to the parent not preparing uh consolidated financial statements number 2 the parents debt or equity instruments are not traded in the public market the parent company uh debt or equity instruments are not traded uh in a public market number 3 the parent did not file its financial statement the parent company did not file its uh, financial statement with the securities commission or other regulatory organization organization for the purpose of issuing any class of instruments in a public market
Number four, the ultimate parent company produces consolidated financial statements. Produces consolidated uh, financial statements. that comply with IFR standards. And are available for public use. Okay, uh, I guess twenty seven separate financial statements. So when exemption from the preparation of financial statement is permitted, IS 27 separate financial statement requires that following disclosures are made. So when exemption hmm. is permitted, IS 27 require following disclosures. Number one, the fact that consolidated financial statement have not been presented. Number two, a list of significant investments Investments with uh, that is subsidies, associates, etc., it including uh, percentage shareholding. Principal place of business. Country of incorporation. And the basis on which those investments listed above. have been accounted for its separate financial statements. So far, so good. And we are done with the principles of consolidated financial statements. Uh, I hope you got it.